Now DR takes a strike from Allman, who's missed the last two seasons because he broke his kneecap lifting weights. So he's back for his junior season and happy to be playing baseball. And he throws a breaking ball on the edge that DR thought was off the dish. He had taken just a little smidgen of a step toward first base like it was ball four, but instead a full count. And the pitch is low and away this time. That is ball four as DR walks for the 13th time. Nothing in one pitch as a curveball slapped into right field and it is dropping in for a base hit. D.R. Meadows stopping at second and McBride stroking his 13th hit of the season is at first base, giving the Bulldogs a good start here in the first inning. Here's George Lukey. He's moving up in the lineup today and batting third. And on the season, he's hitting 371. Three-game hitting streak in which he's red hot, seven for 11. And he slaps it right side, in for a base hit. D.R. Meadows coming around third with a full burst of speed, coming to the dish and scoring the first run of the game. So two Bulldogs go backside, back to back. McBride down to third. Ed Lukey, who leads the team and runs batted in, now has 21. D.R., of course, scoring the run, leads the team in that category. And now he's touched home 20 times this season. They've hit 29 doubles, five the other day, of course. There's a chopper to the second baseman, and Rick scoops it up, throws to first as Dalton McBride touches home, and Lane drives it a run, his 11th of the season, and McBride scores the second run of the ball game. So the Bulldogs lead 2-0. Ninth. DR has a .84 earn run average, but yet a 2-4 record, and teams are hitting 2.05 against them. And the right-hander deals his first pitch of the game, and it drops low ball one. DR has pitched 33 to third innings, allowed 27 hits, just four earned runs, 18 unearned runs. Ball's hit into left field and pretty deep. Back goes Helton near the fence, jumps up in the air, had it in the glove, and then it came out. Now he's firing to second base, and Sutton is reaching. He had a big game the other day, back-to-back -back doubles, and you might score that one a double. First pitch bouncing, Colgram snags it, throws to third base. Harrison applies the tag, and the Bulldogs get a big out at third. That ball skipped to the right, and they were able to throw out Alex Sutton. Hard hit ball to Lane Adams at short. Missed it the first time, picks it up the second time, and throws to first base to get the out. He was hit sharply enough where you could mess around with it a little. Almond out at first, brings up Roper Smith, Dawson Nance. Dawson hit second in the game on Tuesday, laid down a sacrifice bunt his first time up, but then flied out to left, popped up to second, and grounded out to second. The Bulldogs' second baseman today is Dalton Lynn. Noah Anderson has been playing that position. The first baseman is Kyle Knight. He played at the B-team game yesterday. Here's a ball well hit into right center field. On the run is McBride, and he catches it in the gap for out number three. Dalton has good wheels, of course, and ran that one down. So a double by Sutton, and he wound up being thrown out at third by Cole Graham, and then a two-out walk by Roper Smith, and he's left at first. Two-nothing Bulldogs going to the second inning on Y101. The Toombs County Bulldogs lost to Bacon County 11-4, and Kyle Knight is hit by a pitch. That's a big difference, being hit by a pitch as opposed to popping up to the catcher. He got hit by a pitch the other day on Tuesday against the Valley Indian. Martin swings and hits it up high in the air, deep to left center field. That ball's carrying to the fence, and that ball is gone. Martin Stevens hits his first varsity home run. And he did it on a two-strike pitch, and he crushed it toward the backside to left center field. And here he comes to the dish. Greeted by Kyle Knight, who touched home right before him. Two run shot. Bulldogs third home run of the season. All the dogs now come out of the dugout at the last moment. Normally they greet the home run hitter at the plate, but they came out at the last moment. And the dogs lead 4 0. And you can hear Kim Stevens behind me. Way to go, son. Last time we saw him hit a home run and called it a Y101 was in Hebzibah on a real hot day when he crushed a pitch in the state tournament junior ball over the center field fence. Two run shot as we're back to the top of the order for the dogs who are up four nothing. 
to DR. He walked for the 13th time this season of winning the pitch, and he swings and hits it deep to left field. Meadows sends it toward the fence. Meadows has hit one out of here. The Bulldogs go back to back. DR Meadows with his second home run of the season and his Bulldog career. Last year, he hit three doubles here. And today, he crushes one. He drops something on the way to home plate. I guess his batting glove. Picks it up, steps on the dish. Five nothing dogs. And that'll bring up Dalton McBride, perhaps feeling a little pressure to keep it going. And during this streak, I mean, he is red hot. He's now eight for 12. That's four for six. That's two for three. That's 666. You could do that in your head. Another pitch is low to George, 2-0. Oh. He's had some hot streaks this season, for sure. He had one in which he went six for 10 in four games. And he hits the ball in the left field for a base hit. That's just gonna be a single, but a hard hit ball. That'll bring up Lane Adams. 328 coming into this game. Swings and hits it deep to right field. Let's see if this one will go. It's off the fence. Runner coming to third. Lane racing to second. Coach Fitzgerald puts up the stop sign and Lukey will stop at third. Lane Adams with a big double. Almost hit it out of here. His fifth double. Bases loaded. First pitch. Swing and a liner to left field. Stroked and rolling near the fence. That scores a pair of Bulldogs as the Indians toss it in and Harrison to second base with his seventh double. Seven of his 13 hits doubles. The Bulldogs score two more and lead seven nothing. Hunter drove in a pair of runs in the Tuesday game in the third inning when Videa made it a 4-3 game after the Bulldogs had scored four in the second. So think about that, the Bulldogs have scored nine runs off the Indians in the second inning in these two games this week. DR misses on the second pitch, and now here's a pop-up, left side of the infield. The shortstop, Lane Adams, puts up his hand, takes control, deals with the win, and makes a catch. Second pitch from DR missed. This pitch is lined at a right field again, and it's caught by Dalton McBride. So that guy seriously likes to hit to the backside, at least against the Bulldogs. Two up, two down for Dawson Gibbs. Here's DR's pitch, swing and a missed strike three. First strike out of the ball game for DR. His 46th of the season is 124th of his Bulldog career and a three up and three down for the Toombs County Bulldogs defensively in the bottom half of the second. They're still leading seven nothing as we break on Y101. The last time Bulldogs went back to back, the last time I could remember First pitch to Kyle, swings and hits it deep to left field. Page going back to the fence and it is off the base of the fence. A long single for Kyle Knight who almost hit one out at a home game early in the season. Because remember, no dog has hit one out at home. Here's Martin Stevens. Yeah, the last time I could remember Bulldogs going back to back was the face painter Neil Rogers and Justin Adams at Bleckley County. That was many, many, many years ago. Well, never have I been more wrong than saying that Benedictine was a better team than Jeff Davis. 2-1 mm. is hit on the ground of the second baseman. Lynn battles it, but picks it up and throws to first and one down. Because no lineup has been set this season. Here's Page who had a double the other day and he hits it center of the diamond field to Belaine Adams on the move, throws to first base. And low but caught by Kyle Knight, two down. Nice aggressive play by Lane who wants to play junior college ball next year. And, he, and he's being looked at by A back at East Georgia. 2-2, two -two. hit into center field for a base hit. So Sutton has hit the Bulldogs well. He's got four hits in the two ball games. He is four for six, 2-1. Popped up in the air, in play, third base side. Lane Adams taking control once again, and he makes a catch into the outfield grass. He's normally the second baseman, but when DR pitches, he plays the shortstop position. He's played it well in this ball game, and that's it for the Indians. A second base hit for Sutton. He has the only hits off DR, and he is left at first base.
And we play three with the Bulldogs leading it by day is 7-0 on a windy day on Y101. And of course, anytime you strike out 15 like DR did last Friday when he faced the Metter Tigers, you're wondering, well, how many strikeouts does DR have? And he only has one. And he hits the first batter, Roper Smith, coming in with a fastball. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout for DR Meadows. And the 2-2. Check swing and a strike. And number three. So DR with back-to-back -back Ks. Second and third of the ball game. It's 320 down the line here both ways. It's a symmetrical ballpark. 350 to center. 338 into the power alley. It's a considerably shorter than Jackie Jones where it's 360 to dead center. There's a soft liner hit over to the second baseman, Dalton Lynn, and he raises up the glove just slightly to catch it for out number three. So a couple of base runners without a base hit, a hit batsman and a walk, but they're left on first and second, and we head to the fifth with the Dogs leading Vidalia, 7-0 on Y101. Who grew up in Lions. There's a solidly hit ball into center field for Cole Graham and a base hit. And ECI is a number two playing Claxton to number three. Martin swings and lines it into right center field for a base hit. Trey Cloud stopping at second and Martin with a multi-hit game. He's hit three balls squarely and is two for three. Then in 2015, he did not have a hit against the Indians. 0 for 4 here to open up the season and 0 for 4 at home. But last year he had some big games and of course this year. He's hit the ball well against the Indians. There's a breaking ball that misses inside, ball four, and DR has walked for the second time in the game and the 14th time this season. Brings up George Lukey, who is two for three today and is nine for his last 14 in what is a four-game hitting streak. That's a real good hitting streak. Three for five against Metter, two for two against Metter, two for four against Vidalia, two for three so far today against his rival. Bases loaded, two down. First pitch, a curveball, and he swings and hits it off the glove of Powers, rolling into foul territory. That's going to score a pair of dogs, and Coach Fitzgerald puts up the stop sign. That ball was hit hard, and you probably score that a base hit and two RBIs. Nine-nothing Bulldogs with a chance to run rule the Indians here again, just like they did last year, if they could come up with one more base hit. We're in the top of the fifth. They would need three outs in the bottom of the fifth to end it early. And DR throws a strike to make it nothing and two. Now he winds. Here's his pitch. Chopped at the plate. Fair foul. It's a fair ball. Cole Graham guns it down to first for the out. Had a weight on that ball. And made the good throw. First pitch to Sutton. Got him to pop it up. DR's running toward the Bulldog dugout. He's in foul territory, and he catches it. And that is out number two. Caught it in the coach's box, and he got it there real fast. Here's a pitch from DR. Rounder off DR's glove, over past the second base position into right field. And here comes Page to third, and the Bulldogs will throw it to the center of the diamond. Now throw back to first and safe there. That ball deflected off the yards, hit right back to the box, and he just couldn't get the glove on it good enough to make the catch, because you know what kind of glove he has. And that altered the course of the baseball, kind of messed up Dalton Lynn. He had no chance to get to it as it bounced off to his left. That'll be a single and a third hit off the yard. Here's Dawson Nance, left-handed hitter, who's flying out to the right fielder, Dalton McBride, and struck out against Meadows. Base is loaded, two down, shut out in jeopardy. First pitch from DR, hit up into the air to center field. Lukey is underneath it, now moving a little bit to his right to make the catch for out number three. And the Indians load up the bases on a pair of walks and a single, but DR strands them. And we go to the sixth inning with the Dogs leading 9-0 on Y101. Robin would be enjoying her weekend. There's a ball stroked over to the shortstop. Sutton on the backhand, throws to first base. Nice play, got him. Righty-righty matchup. Here's a pitch from Nance. And Brock swings and hits it into center field for a base hit. So Brock with a multi-hit game. 
two for four today. Coming off a one for three against the Indians with a two run double on Tuesday. And before that on Friday, a one for three against Metter with an RBI single in his last at bat. And then against Metter in the Tuesday night inning game, he went two for four with a double and a single. So give Brock the sophomore a four game hitting streak. One of these days he's gonna hit a home run. 3-1. He hits it sharply, but into the glove. O'Reilly powers the third baseman moving toward the shortstop position. He caught the liner and Rock Graham of a potential base hit. That's it for the Bulldogs. A base runner but thrown out at second. And we're headed to the bottom half of the sixth inning with the Toombs County Bulldogs leading by day at 9-0 on Y101. 3-1 pitch from DR, low ball four. So he starts off the sixth inning with a walk. 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit up into the air to center field. Lukey running out and running back in to make the catch. That's what you do. You go back and then you come back in instead of go in and go back out. This year he's pitched against Appling, Bryan, Benedictine, Bacon, Jeff Davis, Metter, Metter again, Videa, and Videa again. 2-2, bouncing ball right side and through for a base hit. Runners on first and second. Now the ball gets away as the Bulldogs throw it left side, throw to third, out! DR Meadows with the tag. And Brent Korn is gonna chase down Bill Price who made the call. He left home plate and went up the third base line. And he is adamant that the call should be safe. Coach Korn. Very animated, said a couple of things, and then went back to the coaching box over there near third base. Here's Ricks at the dish, and he jumps on the first pitch and sends it into shallow right field. In comes Dalton McBride, diving! Oh, he almost caught it. Runner coming around third, and it's gonna score, just beating the throw. Well, McBride gave that a great effort, dove, and almost snagged it. That would have been out number three, but instead Ricks drives in a run to break up the shutout and make it a 9-1 game. And earned. Here's a pop-up. DR running over toward the first base dugout. Does he have room? Yes, he does. And he makes a tricky little catch because he had to kind of lean back. But he's such a fantastic defensive player, he kind of made it look easy. And that is out number three. Indians score one. They do it on two hits and a walk. And now we're going to the seventh inning with the Bulldogs leading 9-1 on Y101. Replacing Dawson Nance, the right-hander, has pitched successfully against the Toombs County Bulldogs, allowing just two runs in the last inning. It's taking over for Tucker Allman. The Bulldogs scored two in the first and five in the second. And Kyle Knight started off the second inning, and he was hit by a pitch. Then he singled in the third, and he struck out. So he's one for two. And he swings and hits it into left field for a base hit. It's rolling down near the line. Kyle around first base, digging for second. He's going to make it. He's got a Bulldog double. And for the Dogs who hit five doubles against Vidalia on Tuesday, that's their third double today, plus the two home runs. And one hit by Martin Stevens, who now steps to the plate on a multi-hit game. Playing at Vidalia for the last time as a Bulldog senior. He's had some big moments here. He's hit three doubles and a home run in the last two seasons here. And he swings at a curveball and hits it in the left center field for a base hit. Brown being waved and now stopped at third. DR is going for second. He's there because they threw to the center of the diamond. So I think you have to score that a single, but he takes second on the throw. But he has two hits in the game. And now DR with 88 hits in his Bulldog career. So he needs 12 more to hit 100. It's possible. They're gonna walk Dalton McBride intentionally without throwing the pitches. And he runs down to first to load him up for George Lukey. And Lukey's going, boy, I like this. I'm three for four and I'm about as hot as I've been this season. He's on a four game hitting streak in which he is 10 for 15. I don't know if the Indians know that, how hot Lukey is. 
course, they know he went two for four against them with two doubles in his last two trips to the plate in the Tuesday game at Jackie Jones. Dogs up 9-1, top of the seventh. Is Lukey due for a big moment right here? Bases juice one down. First pitch to George, swings and lines it into the glove of Powers. He's going to get a double play, doubling up Brown. That's the second liner he snagged. Lukey hit it hard, jumping on the first pitch, and the Bulldogs do not score a run in an exciting top of the seventh. And now we go to the bottom of the frame with the dogs still leading 9-1 on Y101. Alex Sutton is two for three against D.R. Meadows, who's out here in the seventh. Pitching on this mound for the last time. Curveballs hit up with the air right side. That's catchable. Dalt McBride on the run. He dives. And he had it. And when he hit the ground, it came out. Oh, well, he's almost made two great catches in this ball game. That'll be a double for Sutton, who has three hits against the Bulldogs, including four doubles this week. He's got a total of five hits. Three for four today. And two for four on Tuesday. And his off-speed stuff is just awesome. Full count pitch. Swing and a missed strike three. Two down. And now they throw the second base and get Sutton for the third out. And that ends the ball game. It's over with the Bulldogs winning 9-1. The Indians lost two runners at third and one at second, and Sutton was out at third and at second in this ball game. Bulldogs sweep the Indians. In fact, both Toombs County teams swept the Indians this year. The B team won here. They run ruled Vidalia to open up the B team season and then came from behind and beat them at Jackie Jones Field. So that's it for the Dogs and the Indians for 2017 as they shake hands on the mound at the center of the diamond. And the Toombs County Bulldogs keep pushing toward a possible playoff berth. They got two more games coming up against Swainsboro. We'll talk about that and recap this game. Dogs winning 9-1 as we break on Y101.